in science, when we talk about something being a theory, it's not just an idea that a couple of people have put together over a discussion at the pub. It is a well-established explanation of a phenomenon which is backed up with uh, evidence and research. So it's well established. So when we talk about the theory of plate tectonics, there's a lot of evidence to support the fact that this explains how the tectonic plates move to cause earthquakes and how they've moved over time to change the shapes of land masses and continents, etc. So let's talk about that theory of plate tectonics and to do that we need to remember the structure of the earth. So firstly we've got our crust which is a very very thin layer compared with the diameter of the earth. Then of course we've got this red hot centre which is solid, um, the inner core, and then we've got our outer core uh, and then the area of interest here is what we call our mantle. So the mantle is what we call semi-solid, so it behaves like a fluid in that it moves. Now, to understand this, I need you to remember this concept called convection and convection currents. So an experiment you might have done before involved a beaker that you heated up on uh, using um, a Bunsen burner the flame. Now, if you put some grains of um, maybe tea leaves or, or something you can see, or even if it was just a food dye, you would have seen that what happens with the water is as it heats up, the water actually moves in this direction. And then it then comes back down like this. Now, why does that happen? All right, so the water down the bottom of the beaker is hotter because of the flame. Because it heats up, the particles are moving faster, particle theory, they take up more space, they expand, they become less dense. And because it's less dense, it floats, so it actually rises. But then when it gets up to the top of the beaker, it's away from the flame, so it cools down and sinks again. So that is what we call a convection current. The theory of plate tectonics suggests that that's exactly what happens in the mantle to move the crust. So we have convection currents that develop up through here. So the, uh, the mantle that the magma inside the mantle, when it's close to the core, it's hotter. So it expands uh, and reduces its density. So therefore, it goes up to the, um, to the crust. And as it cools down away from the heat source, it sinks like this. So if you've got, if we've got a crust, uh, a tectonic plate here on the crust, and then another one here, the theory of plate tectonics says that the movement of this magma through the convection current is going to separate these two plates. They're going to separate, pull apart. Now, if you imagine that we've got um, another convection current here, but this time it's going in the opposite direction. And we've got another plate here. So this one's going this way, and this one is going this way. So we've got these two plates pulling apart, but we've got these two plates pushing together. And then if we've got a third option, which we're going to talk about in another video. We've got three types of plates. Plates that pull apart, plates that push together, and a third type where they they um, move across each other like that, or shear. Okay, so basically what we're saying is it's a convection current of the magma in the mantle. When it heats up, it produces this convection current, and the movement of the magma across the, the, uh, the crust actually pulls the plates apart, or together, or basically it moves the plates.